ever landed an insane shot or pulled off an epic play just to realize you forgot to hit record? Yeah, I've been there. The good news is Nvidia Shadow Play has your back. Today I'll show you how to set it up, the best settings to use and how to make sure you never miss a highlight again. But first a quick note, Shadow Play only works if you've got an Nvidia graphics card. If you're on AMD, check out AMD Real Life instead or use OBS Studio which works with any GPU. So let's get Shadow Play ready to go. First, download and install GeForce Experience from NVIDIA website if you haven't already. Log in with your NVIDIA account or create one if it's your first time. Click the settings gear and make sure in-game overlay is switched on. Without this, Shadow Play won't work. Now press Alt plus C to bring up the overlay. That's the Shadow Play control center. Before everything else, let's dive into the settings so you get the best results. Click on the settings gear and make yourself familiar with the shortcuts. The most important ones are under record. Alt plus F9 starts and stops manual recording. Alt plus F10 is the magic one. Instant replay. When instant replay is on, Shadow Play is constantly recording your gameplay in the background. It doesn't save right away, but it keeps the last few minutes in memory. If something amazing happens, hit Alt plus F10 and then Boom! It saves the last x minutes straight to a file. I don't know about you, but for me, the instant replay is a game changer. Next, let's set up audio. Go to the audio tab. Here you can adjust your system volume and microphone levels. If you've got more than one microphone, make sure to pick the right one. I highly recommend enabling separate audio tracks. This records your game sounds and your voice onto two different tracks. Why? Because if your game is too loud or your microphone is too quiet, you can easily fix it later in your editing software. No ruined footage. Now head to the video capture. Here you can turn desktop capture on if you want to record everything on your screen, not just the game. This is great for tutorials or apps outside of gaming. You can also set how long instant replays lasts. Anywhere from 1 to 20 minutes. For quality I recommend high, use our game's resolution and set the frame rate to 60 fps for gaming. If you're just recording desktop stuff, 30 fps is totally fine. And finally under files in this space you can choose where your recordings are saved. Make sure it's a drive with plenty of space because gameplay videos can get big fast. And that's it! Now you're ready to record your most epic gaming moments or even make easy tutorials to share with your friends.